Hello everybody, welcome back to the Anbinar mod for EU4. And today we're going to do a new campaign as Westim. Or should I say, the March of Westim over here. The Royal House of Silmuna is one of the greatest of the Silver Families, originating with the marriage of Munus Moonsinger, who led the Remnant Fleet to Kanor and later led the League of Free Realms against the Sorcerer King. Oh. And Alsi Demerid, the Queen of Demeria and Avatar of the Dame, Goddess of the Harvest, Knowledge, and Magic. The Silmunas were the Grand Dukes of Demeria, joining the Empire of Ambinar, and were the dynasty most frequently on the Imperial Throne. Some even viewed the Silmunas as the only rightful rulers of Anbinar itself. The dynasty was destroyed following the Lilac Wars when only the Grand Duchy of Demeria was dissolved. After the victory of the Rose Party, and the Silmunas lost their territories save for a Rose-aligned branch in Westham. Of the dynastic branch that once ruled the Grand Duchy itself, only Rogier Silmuna survived as Captains of the Sons of Demeria Adventurer Company, which I'm pretty sure it's somewhere right here. It's not these guys. The House of Silmuna is known for its magical power, patronage of the arts, and political ambition. We shall make them proud. As you can see here, victors of the Lalak Wars were the only remnant of the actual Demeria itself, hence West Dam, West Demeria, see? Hint, hint. Alright, let's get everything started. It is a EU4 game, so let's get our troops ready. Get a knight here. Start allying these guys over here. So the religion we follow is just Regent Court. So we can pick anybody we want once it's ready. Oh yeah, we're in a regency right now for Lawrence Silmuna, who's going to be the main focus of our nation for the start. Because, as you can see, it's basically dictated around um, his choice. Lawrence's choice. So we'll see how that goes. It's pretty interesting. I'm going to seize the crown land and then take the Diet. No, all these are kind of terrible. I'll take this one. And let the day go. Yep, we are in Regency. I will ally you. And then let's get it going. Let's ally... Let's see, can we ally you, Mr. Laurent? No, we cannot. Hmm. I do want to be friends with Wex, because he is the Emperor. So let's do that, marry you guys as well, and let's turn up the speed, because we're going to be waiting here for a little bit. Because right now, with our Regency, and everything being focused around Lawrence, we just gotta wait until he's not a baby boy anymore. Rubenair hates us. Magisterium, we're going to kill him later. And Durane, I just don't like you. Okay. Hopefully we can get this alliance with Westham. That'll be good. And one of the paths... Well, actually, out of the two paths we're going to be taking, I'm actually going to go down the Demarian path because the Laurentian path is just boring. Because it just gives you a PU over Laurent. So, basically, as Nopani said in a different post... It's just playing Laurent, so I'm just not going to do that. That's kind of lame. <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to turn off everything here. Mothball all forts. Who are you allied to, Magisterium? Ryland, Temple, and Torinen. Alright. Just making sure, because he is going to be who we're going to kill first. Because he owns a very important part. Especially Demseer here. And why is Anne Benicost on fire? I had never noticed that until now. It's getting better with time though, they'll make it. Let's grab some advisors here. I would really like a prestige guy that isn't going to cost my entire treasury. Diplo rep is good. Land maintenance is okay. Hmm. I'll just leave that for now. Arella Cheese Man. <laughs> Amazing name. Oh, does Magisterium have a powerful mage? They do. And they also have a broken localization heir. Awesome. 
We'll just do that for now. So yeah, I just gotta watch out for Magisterium. I do want to gear up and attack him. He is 60, so hopefully he dies. But I'm pretty sure with both of us having a similar military, uh, fighting a Mage General with 5 military skill would probably be a terrible idea. So let's not do that. And I also want to be friends with Istralor, because they are an Elector. And yeah, everybody hates this right now because we are a baby boy. It's kind of annoying, but we just got to deal with it. It will be even better if we can become the actual Emperor. I want the payment in full for now. Hmm. Yeah, I didn't know Anben was on fire from the start. That's weird. Hmm. Yeah, the mages are upset at me. What's better, power cost? Probably. It would be nice to make some more money, but who knows. Anyways. Uh, and Ben costs were just allied with Magisterium. Great. He's going to be a tough cookie, but hopefully we can break the realm. So yeah, Lawrence's choice over here. There's a Laurentish path and a Demarian path. And we're going to go down this way, which means we can royal marriage a Demarian person. I think it's specifically primary culture is West Sumerian, ruler is West Sumerian, and married with us. And that is only, what, two options? Woodwell over here, and uh, Neckliff. And obviously, Neckliff is better. Pretty sure Ellison is high Laurentish, yes, of course. And we actually have a mission that makes it so we get aggressive expansion minus 25%, which is really, really broken. Especially with West Stem over here. Oh yes, I need prestige. Because if we stack it with decentralization of Anbanar, which is another negative 25%, maybe stack it with Justified Wars later on, if we're able to get that in time. Do we have any here? No, but I'm pretty sure for um, education for Lawrence, I think he can get the tr like careful trait, which is 10% more. So that's minus 60%, not even accounting for justified wars, which would be negative, what, 70%? And I'm pretty sure one of the regent court deities is another, what, is either 10% or 5%, I'm not sure. It's been a while since I played Regent Court. Either way, it's really, really broken. <laughs> Which is going to be helpful. Because it is the Empire, and just like in Base EU4, it is terrible when it comes to aggressive expansion. Oh god, there's already some fighting going on. What's going on over here? Oh, it's just Verna taking on some, yeah, Hell Knolls. It's kind of weird that the hill knolls are all the way up here. I don't know. Are you... What are you guys? Half-elven humans? And hey, the Renaissance! It's here! Okay. It spawned in Bpec! The Halfling Renaissance! It's beautiful. So yeah, I love it. Because now we can actually... Just get the Renaissance without having to dev our capital. Which is usually not the case, especially for like other countries like Grombar or anybody else I would like to play. Hmm. I'll take a stability. My reasoning for taking stability there is I think we will have enough prestige to go down here. We need 40, right? Yes. And we will get... Oh! Magisterium is dead. Good. There goes their beast ruler. And all of them are really old. Do they have a special government? They do. Oh wow, Magisterium gets plus one to all stats. That's insane. I would take that any day. Alright, Shrelor, let's become friends. Let's get married. Marriage is good. So would it be wise to compare West Them to maybe, like, Austria? 
In real life? I don't know. Honestly, don't know what they're like. Hmm. And then Wex over here. I know, this is kind of random, but I'm just thinking... Is that comparable? Should we just be marrying as many people as possible? Because we do have five Diplo slots. We start off with Mercenary Maintenance reduced. So I might take Mercenaries. Who knows? Seems like a good idea. So what? Anben has 11k, more than Magisterium itself. They're allied with Rialan. I'll just take National Rest. Over here. Okay. Oh my god! Bpec actually got faceting instead of a uh, ruby hold. That's that's actually very surprising. Alright, Bpec is really crazy in this game. Bpecker artisans. That's cute. And yeah, let's just vote on all the reforms, even though I already know I'm probably going to be the Emperor after Wex dies. How old is he? 50. Hmm. And something interesting is that just because we're in the Silmuna dynasty, we have, I think it's a slightly higher chance to get magical rulers. Something like that. So I guess that kind of stacks with magical elite once we get there. Yeah, increases the chance of getting a powerful mage ruler. Kind of weird how Magisterium doesn't, though. Or they might. Might say it in the tooltip. It doesn't say it there. Who knows? Let's get you up so I don't forget. That's 10 more prestige. Let's get another one. Let's get that because we are just doing that now. And there we go. There is Lawrence. Let's check the deities. This one's pretty good. This one's really nice, but I want to go for this one. Perfect for the Empire. Improved relations and aggressive expansion impact goes down. And Lawrence is a powerful mage. Are you serious? What? He was just made this way? No way. Okay. That's amazing. That's a really, really good start. That's insane. Alright, let's become Westamarian. Here we go. Lauren's Choice. Lauren Salmuna was born from the union of Christoph of Westam and the Duchess Rihanna Seal Madelaire. For much of the Lilac Wars, Lauren's father fought against his Demarian cousins, and Lauren's was raised in lofty palaces and vineyards of Madelaire. Madelaire's over here, by the way. Now that Lawrence is a grown man in his own right and ruler of both Westham and Madelaire, it is time to form. Oh, it is time for him to choose. I don't know why it says form. Will he follow his Demirian ancestry or follow the wrenchish ways of his mother? That is disgusting. We are going West Demirian. Cool. So now we have another diplo slot and another diplomat, which we will use. I guess we'll ally Bpec. They're an elector. Get you as well. We got CBs on Neckcliff over here, but we will be marrying him soon. Oh, that's not nice. Because someone else is voting for um, Pearl's Edge. Pearl's Edge won't vote for us. That's sad. Oh well. Demarian ambitions. Lawrence has chosen to stay true to his blood and aim to unify the lords of West Demaria and to revive the Grand Duchy itself. So 100 Diplo and we get diplomatic reputation. Really good. Beautiful. There's that prestige we need and I already know what to do. Oh, I should have done this from the start as well. Hmm. Whoops. That is my fault. I was losing a little bit of money there. It's not too bad. This is one I was going to go for, 15 prestige, for free. If you don't look at the fine text, it's free. Adventurers, uh, I won't take that one. And I would take this later on if I need it, but I won't right now. Okay, and there we go. Just like that, giving privileges away, we have enough prestige. 
Solidify our position in the West Dame's head, we must choose a potential ally and marry our dynasties. This ally must be strong, but not strong enough, else they will not fall to our eventual goal of personal union. Okay. So we just got some opinion with them and some trust and some more prestige. Them as well. So prepare our army. Over force limit, basically. Well, over 90% force limit. Arrogant city folk, decadent magisters, foreign usurpers. The dames here is infested with such ilk, and the only way to reclaim our homeland is through force. Some free points there. And then now we need 50 prestige and 200 diplo to get Westamerian homecoming. Ooh. Okay. I think that was supposed to be a stability point. Ooh, we're going to need 60 prestige for that one. Very prestigious, the Silmuna family. I'm just very excited that he is a powerful mage. And he will only get better in time. Because with these events, I mean missions over here, we can educate him and he will get better stat-wise. So maybe I should wait. Either I will wait until he has probably one more military point stat-wise. I don't want to wait too long. I'm not sure. But I mean, like, either way, he's going to be a beastly general. We can study magic. He's legendary evocation? What? So we can just cast war magic, which is insane. Look at that. Dude, Lawrence is going to be a beast. What else are we get up? Talented in everything else but conjuration and divination. Okay. <laughs> He's talented in necromancy. It's time for us to revive the rest of the Silmunas. Why not? Hmm. Okay. So, so far, BPEC is voting for us and Pearl's Edge would if he wasn't getting voted for, which is pretty sad, but it's just what we got to deal with. What are we missing out on here? Alliance, large nation, mostly relations that I'm losing out on. Oh well. Wex is in the Peasants War and there's Separatists here, which is just better news for us. We do need more prestige, so I will be giving the Magisters what they want. Why not? And we will turn on our maintenance, because we gotta kill some rebels. Before we do that, let's do the Westamerian Homecoming. Actually, both need 50 prestige. Okay, we're fine. Yeah. It is undeniable that we have claims to the Isle of Dames here, and if they won't listen to that, they might reconsider when they see our guns. Okay. Free permanent claim on West Dames... Uh, Dame Seer area, which is right here, including Anbin itself, the beautiful world port that makes that delicious paper. Don't eat it. There you go. Get that done. We can get Silmuna diplomacy as well. The House of Silmuna has always relied on pen and words rather than might. We must continue this tradition and keep our friends close and our enemies closer. More prestige, trust, trust. Okay. Trust with Wex. Hmm. I'd rather it be Ishtralor instead. Oh well. I'll get that later. We must arrange a visit to the court of our ally in order to cement relations even further. A simple step up to an otherwise grand plan of Westamerian Dominion. So we get five prestige. They get more trust with us. And we get diplomatic approach. Which is worse for tax. But it's good for improving relations is good for um AE in this area. And then to get this, we need to wait until that modifier is gone. Okay. So we have to wait 15 years before Netcliffe is ours. Okay. So he's just going to be a normal ally for now. I just wish other people would join. Yeah. It just sucks because Verna could do it. Let me improve relations with him for a bit. Yeah, as you see, we just got our new claims. 
do this before I forget. Yep, Dame's Teeth. The usual. Let's put that Rebellion down. No way! Are you serious? A silent spring. She giggles. Your Majesty, she says. You look at her. Her beauty is unmatched in your realm. Even a realm beyond yours. You say nothing. Spring is in the air, and as you lean in towards her, with intoxicating scent of her perfume painfully present, a thought crosses your mind, cute girl. A noble of the Silmuna family with a weak claim becomes heir, but he is a 456. The House of Broken Localization, Lens. Cool. Marion Silmuna, and I'm pretty sure she. I mean, he, excuse me, is probably going to be a mage, just like us. Wow. It's not expecting all of this. What a good start. Yeah, you're not going to be friendly with me. Basically, the main hurdle for the start here is definitely Magisterium. Maybe Moonhaven could be good? No, Moonhaven hates our guts. Moonhaven hates our guts? Okay. All of you would join, including Anne Ben, which sucks. Because they have 11k themselves, because they're like... They're a country as just a city. It's 53 dev, which is insane. Free admin, I'll take it. Yeah, it's just going to do it towards Wex, so I might just take this Silmuna. Yeah. More prestige, though. So, hmm. We're just going to have to take this one over here, which I will save for next episode. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Tell me what you think of this new playthrough.